Hello, hello. Welcome to another Periscope. How's everybody doing today? It's another amazing, beautiful day in Tucson, Arizona. Where are you guys calling in from? Alabama, a couple of Alabamas. Welcome Alabamas in the house. Got California, Australia. Good day, mate. Tampa, Idaho, Michigan, Nebraska, Wisconsin, Colorado, Iowa, another Wisconsin, Kauai, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Massachusetts, Oregon. Hello, Jennifer Bishop from Colorado. Love you guys too. Cape Cod, dark and rainy in Cape Cod. I bet you would trade our, with our weather today, huh? Hi, Hannah Mae in El Paso, Georgia, Texas, Tucson. Yep, Denver. How's the weather in Denver today? You never know. Denver can be nice and sunny or can be freezing. New York, St. Augustine. We've got people joining from all over the place. Oklahoma. Hey, we love you guys too. Thanks for being on so that we can share this stuff with you. New Mexico, 50 degrees today. I guess that's Colorado. 50 in Colorado, that's pretty nice weather, especially for Colorado in the winter. Kim from snowy Iowa. We're ready to start getting some snow on our mountains here in Arizona so we can snowboard. Oregon. You guys, if you'll do us a favor, if you'll swipe right, swipe up, share with your followers, share to Facebook and Twitter, then we'll be able to pay this gift forward to even more people. The people on your team, your friends and family can benefit as well. Hey, Orlando. North Dakota. Beautiful country up there. All right, you guys, thanks for those shares. Thanks for the hearts. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. I'm so ready to do this with you guys today. I think you're gonna really like what we've got for you today and be watching because Cynthia is gonna be up next. And uh, hey, there's a Great Falls, Montana. I bet it's nice and warm and sunny in Montana. All right, you guys, we're gonna get started. Thanks for chiming in, letting us know where you're from. Thanks for swiping right and up and sharing with your followers, sharing to Facebook and Twitter. We're gonna get started. Um, Listen, you guys, today we're gonna share Create Group Momentum. Who, who out there, I'm just curious, who would like to have some personal group momentum in your network marketing business? Does that sound exciting? Anybody? Anyone would like to have some personal group momentum? I see the hearts rolling in. There's a yes. All right, you guys, listen. Group momentum's really, really, really important because pick me, somebody said. Jenny Barber. All right, lots of yeses. Okay, you guys, group momentum is really important because everyone knows that your company can have its own timing and momentum. You, your business can have its own timing and momentum. And the momentum in your organization is created by the example that you set. And it's really important to show a pace that other people will copy and duplicate to create that duplicate. Uh, group momentum. What Cynthia and I have experienced and witnessed is watching people that enroll a brand new distributor into their business and then they go into support mode and they work with that person. They kind of drag them along at a pace that they're not willing to work at, um, believing that you know, it's, they're going to help them and change their life and you can only help someone as much as they are willing to help themselves, you guys. And Let's face it, all of us have our own personal timing in business. And you'll, you'll know what I mean as I get further into this, but each of us have our own learning curve. Some of us just jump or willing to just jump in both feet and just take off blazing running and work day and night and take on the, you know, the, the saying that we can sleep when we're dead. Any of you guys ever said that? I'll sleep when I'm dead. I've got work to do. I'm really excited about what's going on. We're changing lives. Our family's hopes and dreams are alive. and want to share that with as many people as possible. And, 
Yeah, I see the heart streaming in on that one. So all of you felt that before. But here's the heartbreaker, you guys. Not everyone that joins our life vintage, our business, um, thinks the same way as us. You guys, they, they, you know, have their own personal timing. A lot of people have to know a lot of stuff before they'll do anything at all. And so they'll get paralysis by analysis. They'll show up, but they won't necessarily build any momentum. So here's the problem with enrolling one person and going into support mode. The problem is while you're dragging along that person, nothing else in your business is happening. Nothing. And so you've literally put your entire business on hold to support this one person. A better approach to building your network marketing business, you guys, is to enroll in batches. Enroll in batches. Cynthia and I enrolled, when we first got started in network marketing, we enrolled 18 distributors in our first six weeks. And what that did, you guys, was enable us to pick the two or three out of the 18 that were running with their hair on fire and support them. Now we supported everyone, but if someone walked, we walked with them. If someone sprinted, we sprinted with them. We matched their pace. You can't build this for someone, you guys. You're just not going to do it. So now that doesn't mean you can't inspire them to action. We totally believe in inspiration and you can inspire people to action by, by simply inspiring them with a story, by edifying them in front of their peers. There's a lot of ways to inspire people, you guys. But it's better to enroll in batches. And let me tell you why. Because out of every 10 people that you sponsor, two or three are really going to do it. Right? All 10 are going to tell you they're going to do it. And then two or three are really going to do it. And so if you, if you want to be really busy in network marketing, you've got to enroll in batches. So what does that mean? How do you enroll in batches? Well, that means you need to set up a plan, an action plan. And I don't just mean a plan in your head. I mean, you need to sit down with a pen and paper, write out a plan, and let's just call it a 90-day all-out massive action plan. Okay? You guys heard of this? All-out massive action plan. Let's call it, if you want to do a 30-day blitz or a 60 or a 90-day, just figure out what that is, what that looks like for you, and I want you to take it one step further. Not only do I want you to write out your action plan, what you're going to do to enroll a batch of people in a short amount of time. Let's say you want to enroll five people in the next 30 days. What does that look like? You need to define it. You can't just hope for it or wish for it. It's not net wish marketing, it's network marketing. Being consistent on a daily basis and putting in effort and work is the key, you guys. This is it's no different than going to your job. If you just pick and choose what day of the week you're going to go to your job, eventually that job's not going to be there for you when you come back. This business is no different. You're going to be rewarded or punished for your efforts or lack of efforts. And that's just all there is to it. So, so I want you to take this one step further. After you get your action plan written down on paper, what you're, what you're saying you're going to do to get this all out massive action into, into play, what you're going to do to enroll in batches, I want you to choose a business buddy. Now, I don't care who they are. It could be a mentor. It could be, it could be um, upline, downline, crossline. Who cares? Just find a, an accountability partner, right, or a business buddy. And I want you to share those exact goals, and I want you to share your action plan with them. And I want you to tell them, hey, in order to enroll five people in the next 60 days or in the next 90 days or 15 people, five people a month, whatever whatever it is you say you're going to do, commit to it, right? Figure it out, commit to it, put it on paper, and then commit it to someone else. Because when you do that, your accountability goes to a whole new level. Because let's, let's just be honest, is it not really easy to tell ourselves we'll do it tomorrow? I don't have to do it today, I'll double up tomorrow. And do we ever really double up tomorrow? Do we ever really double up tomorrow? Come on, let's be honest. We don't really double up. We just maybe kick it back into, we may start over again tomorrow after we took a day off, right? So let's be real. If we find an accountability partner and you commit it to someone else, you're going to hold yourself to a new level of accountability. It's going to be a lot harder. Now, with this accountability partner, I want you to say, you know, let's touch base three times a week. So we're going to touch base on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, for example. You could do it every day. 
You could do it every day, but let's just say at least three times a week. You're going to touch base and you're going to say, hey, I've got your action plan in front of me and you said that you're going to enroll five people by the end of the month. And in order to do that, you're going to create a rate of exposure consistent with showing the information to at least three people per day. How many, so if it's Wednesday, let's say, I'm going to, I'm going to ask that person that, that's my accountability partner, I'm going to say, well, how many exposures did you do? Because you should be somewhere between six and nine. Since it's Wednesday, you should be between six and nine exposures this week so far. Where are you? Right? And if they say I'm at four, then you say, we got to make this up because by the end of the week, we're going to need to be on pace with your goal or we're losing this. We're not going to actually get five in. Because let's face it, you guys, the greatest recruiters in network marketing have a, a conversion rate of maybe two or three out of 10. If you're really good, you're going to get two or three out of 10. That means seven or eight are going to tell us no, right? Seven or eight are going to tell us no. So isn't rate of exposure really important? I'm going to talk more about that in just a minute, but if you're average in network marketing, you might get one or two out of 10. Okay. So don't beat yourself up about that. Just talk to more people, right? So as we're learning the business and getting better, we just have to talk to more people than a seasoned professional that can convert two or three or five out of 10, right? So let's just be realistic about the, this action plan and what we can do and what we're willing to do and hold each other accountable. So I hope you guys like the accountability partner, the action plan and the business buddy, right? It, we call it a buddy system. Cynthia and I have always made up buddy system charts and it's real easy to do. You guys just create a chart that says I'm going to do ABC one, two, three every day and share it with someone and have them do the same. And you guys hold each other accountable. Now moving on to rate of exposure. Here's the deal. You guys, I just shared with you. If you're really good at network marketing and you can convert two or three or maybe even five out of 10 people, right? Rate of exposure still matters. But as we're learning network marketing and getting better, let's just assume we're going to get one or two people out of 10, right? So eight, eight or nine people out of 10 are going to show up. They're going to tell us no. Now here's the deal. You guys, if you've if you've shown a presentation, if you've shown your company information to 30 or 40 or 50 people and no one has joined your business, I want you to stop what you're doing and reevaluate the presentation because rate of exposure only works when you have a presentation that converts, you guys. Do you all understand what I'm saying with that? It has to convert. Doing more of insanity is not going to get you more enrollments just because you've shown it to 500 people. You can, if you show it to 50 and no one signs up, it's very likely you're going to show it to 500 and no one's going to join you. So let's figure out what's going on in your presentation and get a conversion of at least two out of 10, right? If you're getting, if you're getting one or two out of 10, you're converting. Okay. So now let's talk about rate of exposure. I hope you have a pen and paper handy. If not, you're going to need to come back and watch this video again and write this down because this is the formula for rate of exposure in network marketing. It's A plus B equals C. Now C is speed of success. Okay. Speed, uh, C is your speed of success. A is you. A is you. And if you're Superman or Superwoman, you don't need any sleep at all, right? You can work 24 hours a day. Your maximum output is 24 hours a day. That's the most time you can spend building your business. Now here's the magic of network marketing where leverage comes in. Leverage, remember we've, we've talked to you several times on other trainings about leverage being the key to wealth, okay? And the key to success to create wealth. Leverage is the key. Now B is your key. So A plus B equals C. B is your team, okay? B is your team. You're limited, right? You're limited to 24 hours a day. So A is limited. B is infinite, meaning it can go forever. There's no limit to it. It can be a thousand man hours a day. It can be a million man hours a day. Think about it like this. If you have a hundred people in your organization that's willing to do what you do and share your information one hour per day, you're now putting your output is a hundred hours per day plus your effort. 
So let's say you're putting in four hours a day and your team's doing 100. Now, you're, now your output is 104 hours per day. I hope you can see the relationship between A plus B equals C. It's really simple, you guys. Talk to more people. You can only talk to so many people because there's only 24 hours in a day. So the bigger you make your B group, the faster your speed of success is going to be. The bigger, the bigger and faster C grows. Okay, so A plus B equals C. A is you, B is your team, and C is speed of success. Now I want to talk a little bit more about B real quick. B is only going to work when you duplicate because you have to remember this in network marketing. It doesn't matter what works for you. It only matters what duplicates. So if your presentations, for example, are converting people, let's say you do a presentation and you get five out of 10. They just sign up like magic. But you sign up five or 10 or 15 people and none of them get an enrollment in the next two or three months, then you're not duplicatable. That just means that you're you're that person that can sell ice to an Eskimo when they don't need ice, but you can do it anyway. Other people have to be able to do what you do in order for A plus B equals C to work. Does that make sense? So duplication still matters, you guys, in, in rate of exposure. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recap real quick. We're going to create group momentum by being the example, right, by setting the pace. We are not going to enroll one person and support them until they quit and then enroll another person and support them until they quit. What we're going to do is we're going to enroll in batches. The way that we're going to enroll in batches is by creating an all-out massive action plan, either 30, 60, or 90 days. We're going to write it down. We're going to share it with an accountability partner, right? And we're going to hold to it. We're going to be accountable to ourselves and our partner, and we're going to do it. That means we're going to do what we said we were going to do. Okay, not everyone's willing to do that, but the successful people, you guys, I promise they are. They're the ones that are willing to do what they said they were going to do. Then you're going to determine that you have a presentation that converts and you're going to implement rate of exposure, meaning A plus B equals C. So that's the recap, you guys. We look forward to seeing you soon on a Periscope training. Cynthia is going to be with you next time. Be looking for that. In the meantime, go to BillAndCynthiaDelaney.com. And just put in your name and email. We will alert you when new trainings are posted, when they're available. We're about to, we're about to really kick that in, you guys. So you want to get on that, on that email list so you can be notified. The other thing is you can ask us questions there. So on the, there's a tab that says Ask Bill and Cynthia. Just click on that button. Ask us questions. If there's topics you'd love to be, you'd love to hear about you know in more detail or that you have a question about this training today that that's the place you can ask us that's the easiest way to get a hold of us you guys is to do that so for today bill delaney you guys we love you so much thanks for tuning in thanks for sharing on your facebook on your twitter thanks for all those amazing hearts we love you yes bill and a N D Bill A N D Cynthia Delaney dot com. So Bill and Cynthia Delaney dot com uh, to register and to be notified and to ask us questions. So so we love you. Thanks again. Um, we're so humbled and blessed, and we're thrilled that we're able to pay this gift forward in such an amazing format where we can interact with you guys. Um, Alberta, Canada. Thank you. I just love this. I get to sit here all day and read your comments and, and talk back and just give you feedback. But thanks, you guys. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for the hearts and the kisses. We will see you next time on another free training with Bill and Cynthia.